head down. You just put your head down softly. So I'll take the bridle off and I'll just put it back on to show you folks what I mean. She drops it. I'm not going to get in a big hurry on that. All right, so when I put it on, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach, I'm going to reach between her ears with my right hand, pick up the top of my brow band on my bridle. I'll use my left hand, I'll spread the bit open, use my thumb to open her mouth, and then when she opens her mouth, I just slide the bit up into her mouth. I put her offside ear in, which is her right ear first, then her left. And then snug it up. And I don't want it too terribly tight in her mouth. The bit should just come to the top of her mouth right here. This could even be dropped one hand, but it's all right right now. Okay, and for a snaffle bit, I like to use a brow band head stall on my bridle. Uh, rather than saying an ear bridle, uh, the brow band will keep your bit balanced to where it's equal on both sides of the mouth. With, with an ear bridle, sometimes what will happen is if it doesn't fit really good, you could have to where the pressure's a little offset on the horse's head for the bit. This way it'll balance out, keep that bit centered in their mouth. Right. So with this setup, it's called a Makati. Makati is Spanish for rope. What we have here is we have a loop rein. We can adjust the, the length of it by adjusting the rope through the slobber straps right here. So if I want my reins longer, I can adjust it this way to make my lead shorter. If I want my lead longer, I can adjust my reins a little bit here, make my lead longer. So getting on lots of different horses, it's pretty easy to adjust. Also, I can use this setup here to take my horse and tie it up where I wouldn't have to maybe pack a halter around with me. If I was gonna tie my horse up, if I was just to tie him up with this rein and something spooked her and she blew back, well, she could maybe wreck her head stall and hurt her mouth. But if I tie it up in this manner, I'm gonna show you, if she blew back, she wouldn't, she wouldn't hurt herself and she wouldn't wreck my outfit. So to do that, what I do is I take my reins, I throw the excess to the offside, then I reach under here with my right hand, pick up the loop, and put it in my left hand here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the loop end of my reins, slide it behind the standing end of the rope right there. I'll reach through that loop, draw it down. Now I'm going to shuffle that knot so it's down underneath my horse's chin right here. Then I take my lead and I put a nine in it. I drop that loop down through the nine. I'm gonna start that over again, you guys. That kinda of got messed up. So I'm gonna take my reins here to start. And I'm gonna throw the excess over the offside. I'll reach under with my right hand. I'll slide up and put the reins in my left hand. I take the loop and I run it behind the standing end. Then I reach through the loop I've just created and draw it down snug. I get it organized underneath my horse's jaw. Then I take my Makati, put a loop in the lead, put a nine in it. I'll drop that loop end down through it, around this leading end, back up through the hole the same way it went down, and draw it tight. What I've created right there is a bowline. Okay, it should look like that. Now, when I tie up my horse with my lead, if that horse was to pull back, this bowline wouldn't get tight on itself. And this loop right here wouldn't get any tighter. So it wouldn't wreck my head stall, it wouldn't hurt my horse's mouth. This would stay the same length. <clears throat> and it, it, this would stay the same length. And if my horse pulled back, it wouldn't wreck my outfit or hurt my horse. Okay? Let's go from there. Alright, hope you can do something with that.